All right, kids, it's Saturday morning, which means it's time to wake up. And what's the only show for our children out there today that's going to wake them up is the Daruba, Fred, and Halle Show. Good morning and peace to you, my young brothers and sisters. What's up? Welcome! We're going to have lots of fun and surprises this morning. But first, let's find out what Daruba and Fred have been up to. Up to? Why it gotta be about up to? If a brother's just standing on the street, minding his own business, he's up to something, right? Oh, it's just a figure of speech. Stop being so sensitive, Daruba. I assure you, Hallie, I haven't been up to anything. Now, see, you just contradicted yourself, my man, because you got on the defensive. Boys, boys, come on. Don't start fighting. It's too early in the morning and late in the game for our people to do that. Now, Daruba, tell me. What did you learn in school yesterday? I didn't go to school yesterday. You didn't? Daruba, you know it's important to get an education. I told you you'd get in trouble. Don't be so quick to criticize your brother, Fred. Now, Daruba, why didn't you go to school? Because all they're teaching is distortions and lies from only one perspective. Until they install a multicultural curriculum and drop true science, I ain't with it. Well, I went to school yesterday and learned that Columbus discovered America in 1492. Man, homeboy didn't discover nothing but a way to decimate an entire population. You're blind, Fred. You're blind to the fact. Now, that's enough from both of you. Daruba, it's important that you learn as much as you can from school, but you have to find the truth within yourself. You can read on your own and ask your mom and dad questions. And thank you, my sister, for not making the assumption that there is no father in the house. And Fred, you definitely need to do some outside reading. You seem to believe everything that you're told. Well, gosh, Hallie, what reason would they have to lie to us in school? This boy is fast asleep. Fred, here's a book you can read. It's called The Autobiography of Malcolm X. Wow! Hey, I didn't know that they gave a little book to go along with a movie. Wow! Yeah! Did it come with its cap, too? I got a cap for you. Let me have the book for a second. No. There's your cap! Hey, you got a cap! in self-defense. And then what do we call it? Intelligence! Hey, kids. What's that music I hear? You know what that means? It's time for a visit from Mr. Disenfranchised. Uh, not that low class so-and-so. Hey, watch your mouth, boy, or I'll hit you with a whole dictionary. So, Mr. Disenfranchised, how are you today? Oh... I got the blues, Hallie. What's the matter? Well, I lost my job at the free clinic when they cut the budget. My unemployment benefits ran out and they won't extend them. And I tried to get a new job, but every place I go, they say there are no openings for a man of my experience. What's that supposed to mean? I think it's obvious what that's supposed to mean, my brother. Oh, there you go again, Daruba. If Mr. Disenfranchised can't get ahead, it's because he's not trying hard enough. He can't go around singing the blues, blaming other people. Look at me. I have a nice suit and a tie and a job and on a TV show. Yeah, but what is your job on this show? You're a puppet, man. You're nothing but a puppet. You're nothing but... You're just mouthing the words of the man. You can't make a move unless the unseen hand of the man moves you to do so. Do you think you're any different? Yes, I am. Because I have true knowledge of self, which makes me free. I can act and think on my own. Oh, yeah? Try it. <laughs> <laughs> be on this show long enough if he kept talking the way he did. Well, boys and girls, does this mean that the Daruba will have to be involved in the system in order to stay alive? <laughs> no, boys and girls! It means that you can't always show the man your true hand when he's watching. Let him think you're down, and then their God will be down. The revolution will not be televised after Scooby-Doo! Yeah! Well, we're having big 
morning, boys and girls. But stay tuned after we watch this wacky cartoon. Which probably features some racist images from the 40s that have poisoned an entire generation of children's minds. Oh, just watch the cartoon and don't make any waves. I gotta wait for you, Fred. No, ah! no man. I gotta wait.